Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. Now, let me ask you, what is the most important part of a good computer setup? Is it the screens? Nope, not the screens. Is it the keyboard? Nope, not the keyboard. Is it the mouse? Nope, it's not even the mouse. The answer is, and it's a little bit of a trick, it's the chair. Now, hang with me for a second here. You have to think about it. No matter how cool your computer setup is, if you're not comfortable enough sitting in front of it, it's gonna be annoying. Like right now, I'm using this Costco mesh back chair. It's nice, it's got a mesh bottom, it's got a mesh back. It's pretty comfortable, but the problem is it doesn't have any upper back support. It doesn't have a headrest on it. So when you go really long sessions, more than four or five hours, it starts hurting your back. Now the awesome guys over at GT Omega Racing sent me one of their Evo XL racing chairs. For us full figure gentlemen. We're gonna unbox, assemble, and review it right now. Because comfort is important, so screw compromise. All right, now this is just ridiculous. Well guys, here it is, the chair straight from Glasgow, United Kingdom. You know, they say great things come in small packages. So this must suck. All right, well, let's bust out the bat knife and cut this bad boy open. I love this knife. And there she is. Okay, it looks right on top. We have the base, which as you can see, is all metal and it's pretty lightweight. I'm gonna venture a guess and say that's aluminum. Well, I'm already impressed with the first component. It's always fun unboxing stuff in huge boxes like this because it presents challenges in this tiny little space I have to work in. All right, I got cardboard. All right, here we have the chair. Uh, uh, okay, so this appears to be the back of the chair. You guys are watching me get a workout on today's video. All right, looks like here we have the seat. Oh, that's a heavy bastard. Uh, uh, Beef cake. All right, we presumably have a box of parts in the bigger box to put the chair together. And lo and behold, oh, we have the instructions on how to assemble it. All right, so now we got the parts out of the big box. Let's go ahead and open up the little box. Okay, it looks like we have some uh, caster wheels here. We have the piston. Looks like we have the assembly that goes on the bottom of the chair. And we got a cover for the piston. And they even give us the tool. Okay, so according to the instructions here, you know, I'm going to save you guys a little time and time lapse this part. All right, so here we have it guys, the GT Omega Evo XL Racing Seat, all assembled. Now, what you didn't see as a part of the unboxing was there's a lumbar pillow right here that comes with it, that has straps so you can adjust the up and down the backside. And it also comes with a detachable pillow, which is actually a really, really soft leather. It even feels softer than what's on the chair. And it feels like it's filled with like memory foam. Well, you guys probably noticed I'm actually wearing different clothes. It's been a week since I shot that first half of the video and I've been using the chair. The main reason I didn't finish the video immediately was one, I wanted to use the chair and two, GT Omega forgot to put the pillows in the box. And the pillows are kind of a big deal with this chair because the neck pillow is so, so comfortable. All right, so first off, this is a very heavy duty chair. I mean, for all intents and purposes, they took a car seat and mounted it to a base. Even if you look behind these shields, um, the spring-loaded mechanism and the release for the back of the seat looks exactly like it did in my racing seats that I installed in my old car. Now, the armrests on the chair are fully adjustable. You can click them in or you can click them out so you can adjust the angle. And you can also move them up and down quite a bit. And if you just don't want the armrests, you can take them off the chair entirely. Now, the chair is incredibly comfortable. The thing you notice when you sit in it the most is that you have these side bolsters up here at the top and at the bottom that literally hug your back. So I had a tendency in my other chair to slouch a lot. When I'd sit in it, I tend to like lean to the side. This chair corrected that right quick because as long as you're sitting back in it, there is no lean inside to side. It hugs you just like a racing seat in a car. 
Now, as far as adjustments on the chair, you actually have the controls on the base, just like a regular office chair, but you also have a recline control that's in the same spot that you'd expect it to be on a car. And you literally just pull up on it and push the back back, and you can recline it all the way completely flat. Now, I don't recommend going all the way completely flat. Even though it can, the weight distribution will cause it to become unstable and lean. So be careful when you're leaning backwards not to go all the way because you might just tilt over. And yes, I did find out the hard way. Now, you've also got your normal height adjustment which is a really smooth action, you can see on the chair. But one thing to note is with the chair completely bottomed out on the piston, it's about at the same height my other two office chairs are when they're jacked up about two inches. So this chair tends to ride a little bit high. If you're a tall person, that's awesome. You can see with it all the way cranked up, you probably can't see my feet here, but they're basically hovering off the floor. It is, this would be a great chair for a tall person. But the one slight drawback that you get with that is I have a butt kicker audio transducer that mounts on the steel shaft that comes out of the piston. Well, because for my desk, I have to leave it at its lowest height, I don't have any place to mount it. So I need to find a different way to mount it to this chair. Now, one thing to note is because the chair is so heavy on the top, it does have a little bit of sway to it back and forth, but you don't hear any squeaking. All the parts fit really, really well together. It's just because of the sheer weight of the chair. And personally, I think it makes it more comfortable that it's a little forgiving when it moves around. But the most important thing is it doesn't squeak. All of my other chairs do it, or something like that, this, no noise. This chair is dead, dead silent. Turning, moving back and forth, everything is smooth and silent. Now I'm a big guy, I'm about 5 foot 10 and 280 pounds, and this is the Evo XL. And I actually have quite a bit more room in the seat. I could be a much bigger guy and sit in this chair. This chair is rated to 350 pounds, so if you're looking for a beefy chair, this is a damn good option. All right, so now we got that out of the way, let me show you my favorite features about this chair. I love that you can actually tilt the base like a really high-end office chair, but still change the back separately. So let me demonstrate. So I can pull this right here, that releases the lock, and I can lean the chair back, just like a regular office chair. Now this is the seat pan that's actually leaning, not the back of the chair. So I can get my angle really, really comfortable like that, lock it into place. The chair will lock at any angle. So you can lock it all the way back like that, or you can lock it all the way forward like that, and it stays put. So let's say for comfort's sake, I wanna lean back a little bit like that. Now that's really comfortable. But now let's say I wanna take the back, I can lean the back like this and just put the keyboard in my lap or have my desk right here and just be typing. Yeah, I know, it's, it, it makes me look lazy as hell, but oh my God, is it comfortable. Now, out of all the office chairs I've ever had, I've never had an office chair that could actually lean back independently on the tilt on the seat pan. So that is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. And to come up, just like in a car, lean forward, hit the button, locks in place, you're good to go. All the adjustments are really easy and accessible. And the chair is incredibly easy to get up and get into, unlike some racing seats. Now another thing to note here is there is an adjustment on the bottom for the spring tension and you basically tighten that up to counter your weight so that when you're leaning back in the chair you can get it at a comfortable angle before you lock it into place. And you don't have to lock it into place, you can actually just let it free float. Oh I actually have the spring set really tight on this because I'm a heavy dude. But you can see it leans like this, that's, that's the spring that counters that. So when I took it out of the box, it looked like it was set up for a guy that weighed about 75 pounds. So you'd pop that lever and just the weight of your body would throw the seat back. And so now I've got it set up to where it's comfortable, where I can sit down in it, even with that thing set, and it leans back, but it doesn't lean back too fast that it startles me. And I've sat in the chair for eight hours one day. I mean, I got up to use the bathroom a couple times and grab lunch, but I didn't have any problem with overheating or sweating, which I kind of expected with this type of fabric, but I didn't experience any problems like that whatsoever. I keep the room at a constant 70 degrees. Now, if you like a lumbar support, it comes with this pillow right here, and it actually has these little, these little straps on it. And it's really easy to install because the straps themselves just go through where the four-point harness normally would go. And then these little straps just feed right through the bottom. Just grab them on the back of the chair here. Turn it around, snap them into place. And that's all there is to it. And you can just easily grab it and slide it up and down to put it right where you want it for comfort and it's very easy to adjust for different people. Another thing is the caster wheels move really, really smooth on my carpet, and I don't got really nice carpet here, guys, but uh, the caster wheels work great, and you can optionally get another set of caster wheels that are locking casters, so you can flip down and lock them into place, so when you're doing race car simulations, you don't have the chair moving around while you're battling the pedals in the steering wheel. That is a great addition. Now, another thing is if you're tight for space and you need to push it into the desk, like for instance, mine right here, you can push it in, you wanna reclaim just a little more space, you can also, 
push the seat forward just like you would in a car to climb in the back seat. I'm telling you guys, I would bet money that this literally is a seat that's for sale for a car somewhere on the planet. They just adapted it to a base. Now that adaptation is actually pretty clever. I mean, the mechanism that they have down there that bolts to it makes it all work is pretty fantastic. But this is a car seat, guys. But now you've freed up some extra room uh, and, you know, behind your desk. You don't have a chair leaning back. It's very nice. And then when you're ready to get it, just pull it out, snaps into place, slides out. Good to go, even with all my weight in it. Slides into the desk, very easy. Very easy to push out and turn around, even on carpet. All right, so in summary, guys, I give the chair incredibly high marks. It's very, very comfortable. It's very, very durable. Handles up to 350 pounds. I absolutely believe that, that claim. Realistically, the biggest problem that I had with the chair was during assembly, it's a little bit tricky. The only instructions that they give you right here basically tell you that this piece goes to this piece, this piece goes to this piece, this piece goes to this piece, so on and so forth. Basically build it top to bottom. But the instructions actually have an air in them. This little piece right here, it tells you to put it on backwards, and that's what I did during the time lapse where you saw me giving the thumbs down. I put the chair together backwards because the instructions told me to, and then I had to intuitively go, oh, wait a second, that's wrong, and put it back the right way. Not a big deal. I already contacted them, and they said that they're going to update the instructions for the next run, but it's, it's something that, honestly, had I not been following the directions so closely, I would have just figured it out on my own. Other than that, the only problem I had was they forgot to ship me the pillows. But you know what? I'm kind of glad they did because it forced me to use the chair for a week before I finished my unboxing and review. And I'm really glad I did because after using this chair for a week, it's going to be really hard going back to any other chair. Because if you've ever driven a long distance in a luxury car or like even a race car around a track, having a chair that's designed to hug you, I mean, car seats are engineered for bumps and hours of use and to keep your take all the fatigue away from your body when you're driving. That translates perfectly when you're sitting in front of a desk. Well guys, that concludes my review of the GT Omega Evo XL racing seat for your office. This thing is phenomenal, it's comfortable, it's not too hard to assemble, just be careful on those instructions. You're going to get a good long use out of this, the material is ultra durable, it doesn't squeak, it doesn't make any noise, that's the, honestly the biggest fear that I had. And this is going to be my office chair for a very long time. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, or better yet, come and tweet me, at Barnacles. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me because I am super active on social networking. And apparently somebody just messaged me and I didn't turn the volume down. I'm trying to make a video here, guys. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these chairs and you want to help out the channel, I have an affiliate link down in the description. You buy a chair, helps me out, helps you out. It's a win-win. Now, if you hate my guts and you don't want me to benefit from buying a chair, then just go directly to GT Omega's website and purchase it that way. I promise, no hard feelings. And if I missed anything in this review, go ahead and put it down in the comments. Important stuff, I'll go ahead and move up to the video description because I want people to be as informed as they possibly can be. All right, guys, time to get to editing. Until next time. <laughs>